Frame Show Night, Jeopardy, air date, January 30th, 2023, take one. From the Speedrun Hall of Fame Studios in Lost Wages, Nevada, this is Jeopardy. Now entering the studio are today's contestants. We have JSR, we have Captain Caveman 910. Jill Dragoon, and my mistake, Iggy is our third contestant. And now, here's the host of Jeopardy, LOZ Cards Fan 23. Thank you. Thank you very much. I thank you very much, Taters. And welcome to Frame Show Night here at the Speedrun Hall of Fame. I'm LOZ Cards Fan 23, and this is Jeopardy. Tonight, we have our three contestants, Captain Caveman 910, Iggy, and Chill Dragoon, who are going to battle it out to see who will advance to our Joker's Wild finale at the end of the show and to our quarterly tournament at the very end. And in fact, that is coming up really, really soon because this is the third of our first quarter of matchups here on Frame Show Night. So... Captain Caveman, Iggy, Chill Dragoon, I wish you the best of luck. And now it is time for the Jeopardy round. All right, we have one daily double hidden on the board, and here are the categories for the Jeopardy round. Quotable quotes, speedrunning terms, NES by the numbers, Video game developers, fruits, and which came first. In that category, I will give you a list of three items. You tell me which of those three came first. Now, we did a drawing before the show started. Captain Caveman 910, you won the drawing, so you pick first. Make a selection. All right, let's go with NES by the numbers for 500. All right, the answer is... The number of worlds that are in the USA version of Super Mario Brothers 2. Iggy. Uh, what is seven? That is correct, and you may select. Um, just go back to the categories. Okay, uh, nest by the numbers for a thousand. All right, the answer is the maximum number of rounds a fight can last in Mike Tyson's punch out. Iggy. What is three? You are correct. Uh, uh, which came first for 1500 All right, first time in that category. Link faces of evil, Link to the past, Link's awakening. Iggy again. What is Link's awakening? No. Caveman. What is Link to the past? That is correct, and you may select. Uh, we'll do NES by the numbers for 15. The number of rupees it costs to buy a blue ring in The Legend of Zelda. Caveman. What is 250? You are right. Uh, we'll do by the numbers for 2,000. The number of riddle books that are scattered throughout Castlevania II, Simon's Quest. And there are 13 riddles throughout uh, Castlevania II. Um, still your board, caveman. Uh, let's clear out the category for 2,500. All right, last one in that one. The number of different official Jeopardy games that were released for the NES. Iggy. What is three? No. Caveman. What is four? Yes, that is correct. You have Jeopardy, Jeopardy 25th Anniversary, Super Jeopardy Junior count? Jeopardy, and Super Jeopardy. Yes, that does count. Okay, I didn't think that one was official. Cool. Yeah, it sure was. Yep. Diff it was not made by Rare, but it is still an official game nonetheless. K-Man, select. 
We'll do speed running terms for five. All right, first time in that category. When a runner performs a certain action or glitch that teleports them to an area of the game which was not originally intended, it is known as this kind of warp. Iggy. What is wrong warp? Right. Uh, speed running. Uh, speed running terms for 2000. All right, for 2000. The answer is. Performing an input, trick, or technique where the runner must do it at an exact precise moment is known as this. Iggy. What is frame perfect? Right. And you are out of the hole. Fruits 2500. Answer. Daily double. Now, Iggy, you don't have any money, but you can risk up to 2500 zero dollars you cannot wager zero on a on a daily double the minimum wager is five dollars five dollars five dollars all right not very confident in this category all right we'll see how this plays out yeah. <laughs> all right we'll find out here's the clue not counting transfer pack characters this character in mario golf for the nintendo 64 has the shortest normal drive at 208 yards is it Pauline? What is Pauline? No, a key word is the category Pauline? is fruit, and the fruit that oh. we're looking for, do you know it now? Yeah, just, I feel bad. <laughs> Who is Plum? Plum is the mm -hmm. golfer's name. You only lost $5, so you're at negative $5, and it's still your board, Iggy. Select. Uh, which came first, 2500 All right, the answer is Sony PlayStation 4, Microsoft Xbox One, Nintendo Wii U. And the Wii U actually came first. That came in 2012. The other two came in 2013. Iggy, pick again. Fruits 1500. The answer is. In Yoshi's Story, you begin the game by selecting one of four lucky fruits. Watermelons, apples, bananas, or these. Iggy. What are grapes? Right. Um, the, the quotables, 1,500. All right, first time in that category. You want stars? I'll give you stars. Dragoon. Who is, who is Jill Valentine? Yes, that's correct. You're on the board. Um, quotes for 500. All right, the answer is do a barrel roll. Dragoon again. Uh, who is Peppy Hare? You got it. I'll go quotes for a thousand. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. Dragoon. Who is Dracula? You got it. Um, Speedrunning terms for a thousand. All right, the answer is. This tasty but frustrating moment can occur in a speed run, usually in tight jumps, where a game's code lags or is poorly coded. That would be an eaten input or a dropped input. Uh, or if you're a member of my community, I also would have accepted a yummy input. Dragon. <laughs> Go again, Dragon. Um, go with developers for five. All right, first time in that category. Bucky O'Hare. Dragoon. Or what is Konami? Yeah, that is the fastest response I think I've ever had. It came in two thousandths of a second. That is quite the reaction time there, Dragoon. Select again. Uh, developers for a thousand. Adventure Island. Dragoon. Uh, who is... Oh, dang, nabbit, I... Hudson. Yes, that is correct. Hudson Soft. Go again. Uh, fruits for 500. All right. In Miss Pac-Man, eating this fruit will net you a cool 5,000 points. Iggy. What's a banana? Right. Fruits 2,000. The answer is, in, in the 1982 arcade game, Mr. Do... The title character must collect all of this fruit to proceed to the next level. Iggy. What are cherries? Right. Let's wait for the category board. 
Uh, Speedrunning terms, 2,500. The answer is... The act of pressing a button and holding it so that the action a runner desires occurs on the first possible frame. Iggy? What is a buffered input? You got it. 1,500. All right. The answer is, to close out the category... The art of leaving the intended gameplay area in a speed run with the intent of saving time or skipping events. Iggy again. What is going out of bounds? Right you are. New category. Uh, quotables 2500. The answer is. Squadala, we're off. And that would be Guanum for um, the Link Faces of Evil, that CDI Zelda game. Iggy, pick again. Uh, which came first, Thousand? Right, the answer is Nintendo Entertainment System, Atari 5200, Sega Master System. That was the Atari 5200 that came first. Go again, Iggy. 2000. Order of War for PC, Gears of War for PC, God of War for PlayStation 2. When I wrote that clue, I was very specific about the version because there is a 2018 version of God of War, but God of War here, the PS2 version, would have been the correct response. Iggy, go again. Uh, 1,000 fruits. All right, to close out that category. In Streets of Rage 1, 2, and 3, this fruit is one of only two foods found in the game that will recover your energy. Dragoon. What are apples? Good. Select. Um, which came first for five? All right, to close out that category. Super Mario Brothers 3, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Mortal Kombat 3. Caveman. What is Super Mario Brothers 3? Yes. Select. Uh, let's close out quotable quotes. All right, for 2000, the answer is You Spoonie Bard. Dragoon. Who is Teller the Sage? You are correct. Um, 1500. All right, we are down to video game developers. For 1500, the answer is Persona 4 Golden. Dragoon. Who is Atlas? Right. I'll just go up to 2000. Superman 64. Dragoon again. Who is Titus? Yes, and now the last clue for 2500. Among Us. We've played the game a lot, but never bothered to pay attention to the developer that comes up. Who is Inner Sloth? That would have been the correct response. Great round, everybody. Let's take a look at the scores. We have uh, Chill Dragoon currently in the lead with $11,000. Iggy is currently in second with $7,995. And Captain Caveman not that far behind with $6,000. So let's get to know our players a little bit here as uh, Captain Caveman 910. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm Captain Caveman 910. Uh, I'm kind of I'm currently tied for 464th place on the Super Mario Brothers One leaderboard. All right, that is fantastic. It's great to have you here on Frame Show Night, and good luck to you in Double Jeopardy. Iggy, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, um, I'm kind of a rando runner. I run lots of different hard versions of things. Um, recently, just got done actually doing a first time play of Earthbound. Um, let's check out the randomizer for that really cool tool. And uh, I'm I'm actually Iggy Dota on Twitch, D O T A. We don't really play Dota anymore. It's mostly just uh, I don't know. I'm really into the randos, La Milana, Link to the Past, all that fun stuff. Pretty good. Uh, but there you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is fantastic. I do a lot of randomizers myself. Well, I wish you the best of luck, Iggy, and Chill Dragoon. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yep. Um, I just play a lot of random stuff. I tend to like pretty much anything, so nothing really to dislike um aside from that i just spend time looking up like hex values and roms and stuff 
Very fascinating. Well, good luck to you, and you are currently in the lead here in our game of Jeopardy. But now, contestants, we are going to go into Double Jeopardy, where we double the dollar values and put two daily doubles on the board. So let's go ahead and fill that board up. All right, and here are the categories for Double Jeopardy. Put it in H. With H in quotation marks, we know what that means. What does it mean? Means that all of the responses start with the letter H. <laughs> Sorry. Stunt video games, 1989, potpourri, games done quick history, and product placement. Now, Captain Caveman, you are in third place going into this round, so you will pick first. Make a selection. Let's do product placement for a thousand. Right. The answer is. In the NES game Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game, many signs throughout the game feature this pie brand's famous roof logo. Caveman. What is Pizza Hut? Correct. Um, let's do product placement for two. The answer is Sneak King and Big Bumpin' for the Xbox series of consoles were created as tie-ins to this fast food chain. Dragoon. Is Burger King? You are correct. Make a selection. Uh, 3,000 for product. All right. Continuing the category. On its title screen, this soft drink company proudly presents Spot, the video game. Caveman. What is 7-Up? Right you are. Uh, product placement for four. The answer is... The Super Nintendo version of Super Off-Road prominently features this automobile brand. The pre-race music was inspired by its current ad campaign's jingle. Iggy. What is Toyota? You are correct. Very good. Select. Uh, what category was that from? 5,000. All right. To close out the category. In the arcade version of Cruising USA, a billboard for this Kellogg cereal shows up right before the first turn in Golden Gate Park. I gotta have my pops. Correct response, what is corn pops? Tough one there. Iggy, new category. Uh, 1989, 4,000. 1,000 or 4,000? 4, 4, 4,000. 4, the answer is... Released for the Sega Genesis in September of 1989, this sequel, this sequel to Ghost and Goblins was named Electronic Gaming Monthly's Game of the Year. Caveman. What is Ghouls and Ghosts? You are correct. All right, we'll do 1989 for 1,000. All right, that, by the way, that correct response puts you in the lead, Caveman. For 1,000, the answer is... Ryu Hayabusa's journeys to America in order to avenge his father's apparent death in this NES game released on March 13th, 1989. Dragoon. What is Ninja Gaiden? Correct. Um, 89 for two. The answer is... Despite not being released until July 31st, this handheld gaming console still managed to be the second best-selling gaming system in the United States in 1989. Caveman. What is the Game Boy? Right. Uh, 89 for three. The answer is... With 1.51 million copies sold worldwide, speedrunners dread the stage known as Purple Hell in this Capcom game released on June 2nd, 1989. Caveman. What is Mega Man 2? Good. Uh, 89 for 5. To close out that category. This TurboGrafx-16 launch title released on August 29th, 1989, stars Gauguin, a barbarian whose mission is to rescue his girl, Flair, from the clutches of Jagu. Dragoon. What is Legendary Axe? Good for you for $5,000, and you are tied for the lead with Caveman. New category. Um, potpourri for a thousand. The answer is Mario, Luigi, and Princess Toadstool travel to this archipelago in Super Mario World, but Bowser spoils their vacation plans. Caveman. What is Dinosaur Island? Correct. Uh, potpourri for two. Answer. 
Daily Double. We have a very good game here between you, Iggy, and Chill Dragoon. Caveman, you are currently $1,000 ahead of Chill Dragoon. You can risk as much of your $20,000 as you would like. Uh, let's do 10 k $10,000, a big wager here in Potpourri. Here is the clue. Musician David Wise had to create new music for the family edition of this game show game for the NES when they lost the rights to Merv Griffin's Changing Keys. Uh, what is Wheel of Fortune? You are correct for $10,000, Caveman. Way to go. You're up to $30,000. Well done. Sound like an educated guest there, Caveman, but you pulled it off. Pick again. I pulled, I pulled it out of somewhere. All right, we'll do potpourri for 3000 All right, the answer is... She sells musical instruments in Donkey Kong 64. Iggy. Well, who is Candy Kong? You are correct, and it's your selection now. Um, stunts, 5000 All right, the first time in that category, the answer is... Published by Walt Disney Computer Software for MS-DOS in 1992, this flight simulation game allows you to create movie scenes while performing stunts on an airplane. This one really stumped me a culpa when I did rehearsals. Correct response, what is Stunt Island? Tough one there. Iggy, uh, still your board. Uh... Put an H, put it in an H, 4000 $4,000. The answer is, programmed by James Andreessen in 1982, this Atari 2600 game gives the player nine lives to escape a spooky mansion while avoiding bats, tarantulas, and ghosts. Caveman. What is Haunted House? Good for you, and you may select. Uh, what do you put in an H for five? All right, answer. The other Daily Double. All right, K-Man, you are at $34,000. You lead Dragoon by $15,000. How much would you like to wager? Uh, I'm just going to keep it at $5,000. All right, for $5,000, the answer is... In the NES version of Gunsmoke, the game takes place in 1849, where the Wingates attack this town. I have no idea. <laughs> Correct response, what is Hicksville? Hicksville is the town in that game. Only cost you $5,000. you are still in the lead with $29,000. No more daily doubles left, and it's still your board. Um, we'll do, put it in H for three. The answer is, she is the princess of low rule in The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. And that princess of low rule is Hilda, caveman. Uh, Would you put in an H for two? The answer is Gordon Freeman is the main protagonist of this video game franchise developed by Valve. Dragoon. What is Half Life? Correct. Uh, H for one. All right, to close out that category. What the hell? This 2020 game, published by Supergiant Games, won the DICE overall game of the year, but lost to The Last of Us Part Two in the Game Awards. Dragoon. What is Hades? You are correct, and new category. Um, Potpourri for four. All right, the answer is... Otakon's real name in the Metal Gear Solid series... And who is Dr. Hal Emmerich? Dragoon, pick again. Potpourri for five. All right, to close out that category. The currency in Fortnite are called V-Bucks, with the V standing for this. Dragoon. You want to guess victory? No. Right, what is victory? No, sorry. Caveman or Iggy? 
It's only easy if you know them. If you're not familiar with it, I wouldn't have got that either. Craig response, what is Vendor Tech? That is what the V stands for in V-Bucks. Tough one there. Uh, Dragoon, uh, new category. Uh, stunt for a thousand. Right, the answer is... Events in Electronic Arts' first internally developed game include the Downhill Jam, Pool Joust, and Freestyle Ramp. Dragoon. What is Skate or Die? Right. Uh, stunt for two. If you don't know the answer to the questions in this game show game, you might take the physical challenge with stunts such as Pie in Your Pants and Spaghetti Shoot. Iggy. It was double there. Good. 3,000. Events in this 1987 Epics game include the BMX, Surfing, Halfpipe, and Flying Disc. Iggy. What is California Games? That's it. 4,000. All right, to close out that category. This prehistoric game released for the NES, DOS, and Commodore 64 has zany Stone Age events such as the Dino Vault, Saber Race, and mate toss. Caveman. What is Caveman Games? Absolutely, or Caveman oh. Olympics. Very good. Appropriate that you would get that one correct. <laughs> We're down to one category, Caveman. Which dollar amount? Uh, let's do a thousand. All right, the answer is Sinister One was the first to beat this NES game blindfolded at AGDQ 2014. Caveman. What is Punch Out? More specific. What is Mike Tyson's punch out? That is correct. Uh, we'll do 2,000. All right, the answer is. At SGDQ 2022, TGH and Glan had an epic close race in the Switch version of this Zelda game. Dragoon. What is Breath of the Wild? No. Yeah. Caveman or Iggy? Caveman. What is Twilight Princess? No. Iggy doesn't want to try it? No, best. <laughs> this is actually a remake, believe it or not. So it was actually Link's Awakening. That was the correct response for that one. Uh, Caveman? Uh, we'll do three. Kirk Q ran this NES quote-unquote Christmas movie-based game at AGDQ 2013 and attempted to teach others in attendance to run it as well. Dragoon. What is Die Hard? Absolutely, hence the quote-unquote Christmas, because a lot of people will debate if that's a Christmas movie or not. <laughs> Dragoon, you make a selection. Uh, 4,000. This Castlevania Symphony of the Night runner ran the game at SGDQ 2016 blindfolded. Correct response, who is Rom Scout, who has also been a participant of the Zeldathon team as well. And the last clue for $5,000 in Games Done Quick History. This speedrunner was the first to ever grace the big stage at a GDQ running Mega Man for the NES. It's probably more famous for being a Mario and Excite Bike runner. That would be Andrew G. That was the correct response. Boy, oh boy, we've got ourselves quite a game here because this is not a runaway. Chill Dragoon currently in third place with $19,000. Iggy currently in second place with $19,995. And Captain Caveman 910 currently in the lead with $32,000. Very, very good, everybody. You guys all have done very, very well. But now it is time for Final Jeopardy. And our Final Jeopardy category is... Dice Games of the Year. Think about a wager and make it right now. Once everybody's wages are in there, I will lock them in place and then reveal the clue. While you're doing that, I just want to remind everybody that coming up next is going to be Press Your Luck here at Frame Show Night at the Speedrun Hall of Fame. All right. Everybody's wagers are in place. All right, here we go. Once again, Final Jeopardy category is Dice Games of the Year. 
Contestants, in a moment, I will read you the clue, and then you will have 30 seconds to come up with the correct response. Make sure that your response is in the form of a question. Remember, you, um, you, there is no submit button that'll allow you to make changes if you want to. The 30 seconds will go, and then once the time is up, I lock in your responses at that point. So if anybody had any questions about why there's no submission button, that's the reason why. All right, good luck. Again, category is Dice Games of the Year. And here is your, is. I'm sorry, what? I don't know what DICE is. Um, DICE is a acronym, and I'll tell you what that means in just a moment. DICE, <laughs> DICE stands for Design, Innovative, Communicate, oh. and Entertain. That's what it stands okay. for. And this is, by the way, going to be the 26th annual awards coming up in February. So good question, though. All right. Again, category is Dice Games of the Year, and here is the clue. On February 22nd, 2018, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild became the first Nintendo published game to win the Dice Overall Game of the Year since this game 19 years earlier. 30 seconds, contestants. Good luck. All right, contestants, time is up. Let us see how you all did. This is a very, very competitive game. We're going to start with you, Chill Dragoon. You were in third place coming in with $19,000. Let's see what you put down as your response. Mario Party 3. Well, you did not phrase it in the form of the question. I can tell you right now that is also incorrect. <laughs> I said, make sure to put in the form of the question, but it didn't matter because that, oh, yeah. that is an incorrect response. What is your wager? Only $5. Very interesting. So that takes you down to $18,995. It could prove to be a smart wager. We'll find out. Next, we're going to go to Iggy, who was in second place with $19,995. Let's see what Iggy put down as his response. What is Zelda Ocarina of Time? Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time was released in November of 1998. And yes, indeed, that is the correct response. Let us see how much you are going to add. Hello, everything Iggy mm -hmm. had. That takes him up to $39,990 and the lead. May I, amazing how that can turn around, folks. Now we can go to Captain Caveman 910, who was in the lead with $32,000. Did he come up with the Ocarina of Time? He did indeed. And if he wagered at least $7,991, he will be the Jeopardy champion and will move on to the Joker's Wild at the end of the show here on Frame Show Night. Let's see what his wager was. $8,000, the margin of victory is $10. Captain Caveman 910, you are tonight's Jeopardy champion on Frame Show Night, and you are moving on to the Joker's Wild Finale. Congratulations. Fantastic game, everybody. All right, so GG to everybody here. And uh, again, uh, Captain Caveman, you played a very, very good game. You are moving on to our Joker's Wild Finale at the end of the show, so please stick around for that. Um, uh, Chill Dragoon and Iggy, thank you so very much for playing. You are exceptional contestants tonight, and we'll hope to see you again real soon. So, All right, with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take a break here as Frame Show Night continues here at the Speedrun Hall of Fame. Coming up next is going to be Press Your Luck, and we'll have that for you right after this. Do not go away.
Frame Show Night, Press Your Luck, the air date, January 30th, 2023, take one. Today, these three contestants are after big bucks, but they'll have to avoid the whammy as they play the most exciting game of their lives. From the Speedrun Hall of Fame Studios in Lost Wages, Nevada, it's time to press your luck. And now, introducing the host of Frame Show Night, LOZ Cards Fan 23. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, thank you, Tater, and welcome to Press Your Luck here on Frame Show Night. This is Frame Show Night's most competitive game where players take big risks for big bucks. And now let us meet our contestants tonight who are going to be vying for the big bucks this evening, starting with Wiz. Wiz, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a, I'm a subscriber to Final Fantasy XIV, and I recently beat, I like to call it Beat Housing Savage Ultimate Unreal because it's extremely difficult to get a house in that game. Oh, and absolutely. I got a large. Nice. That's awesome. Good for you. We wish you the best of luck here tonight on Pressure Luck. Our second contestant tonight is Smash Whammy. Smash, tell us a little bit about yourself. Long time game show and video game fan. Sometimes doing both. You know which ones I mean. Absolutely. Hey, Smash, well, thank you very much for being here tonight on Frame Show Night, and good luck. And same to everyone else in fall. All right, and finally, we have Unknown Availability. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm a retro gamer. I do quite a bit of the uh, randomizers, Link to the Past, Mystic Quest, a lot of SNES stuff. Favorite game is Secret of Mana. I love that game so much. Grew up with it and just had a lot of fun time, hours and hours in it. So I'm really happy to be here. Fantastic. Well, we wish all three of you the best of luck here tonight on Press Your Luck. Again, whoever comes out on top with the most money at the end of our second round will advance to our Joker's Wild finale at the end of the show. Here's how this is going to work. I've got four questions, and those questions will become spins. I'll ask the question. When you think you know the answer, you will type the word buzz in the contestant chat, and I will call on your name. A correct buzz in answer will get you three spins. A correct multiple choice answer will get you one spin. Spin. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, I'll read the instructions as always to refresh my memory on the controls so that I'm not hitting the wrong button like I did the last time. <laughs> All right, I think we should be good to go here, contestants. All right, good luck. And here is the first question. In Link's Awakening, Buying this item will set you back a whopping 980 rupees. What I, a uh, whiz. What is the bow? The bow is what whiz says. All right, if you are right, you will get three spins a piece. And now for smash and unknown availability, I'm going to give it to you in multiple choice. If you guys get it right, you will pick up a spin a piece. In Link's Awakening, buying this item will set you back a whopping 980 rupees. What item is it? Wiz said the bow. Is the correct answer the bow, the ocarina, or the Yoshi doll? Smash? What were the three answers again? The three choices were the bow, the ocarina, or the Yoshi doll. 980 rupees. I know the Yoshi doll is part of that crane game, and I don't think the ocarina's in that game, so I'll say it, the bow. The bow says smash and unknown availability. I concur, bow. All right, everybody said the bow, and everybody, of course, is correct. So Wiz gets three spins, Smash picks up a spin, and unknown availability gets a spin. All right, good start, everybody. Here comes question number two. Without jackpot multipliers, how many rings is three Sonics worth on the slot machine in Sonic the Hedgehog 2? Smash. You said three jackpots, right? I said three Sonics. I would, I'll say a hundred. A hundred, all right. Is the correct answer a hundred, thirty, or fifty? Three Sonics. Wiz. I'm going to go with fifty. Fifty, says Wiz. All right, and uh, unknown availability? 
I'll say 50 as well. 50 as well. Well, three Sonics is only worth 30 rings, contestants. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. No spins for anyone. You can get 100, by the way, if you get uh, two jackpots and a tails in that game because tails is 25 two jackpots quadruples your amount that's how you would get the hundred there all right let's see if you do better with this next question here and right, hands on your buzzers complete this popular nintendo slogan now you're playing with what and that would be unknown availability power power is the correct answer power fire or technology whiz now you're playing with power. Power says with Smash. I have a magazine description to prove it. Power. All right. Everybody says power. Everybody is correct. Well done. Wiz, you go to four spins. Smash picks up a spin, goes to two. Unknown availability. You get three spins to move up to four. All right. Here is the last question. In Super Mario Brothers 2, what color Birdo spits out both eggs and fire? Unknown availability. I'm going to say red. Red is the correct answer. Red, green, or pink? Wiz. I'm going to go with pink. Pink says Wiz. Smash? Pink's your standard egg suitor, and I believe green is the one that does only fireballs, so I'll go with the other, the third option. Which was red? Yes. All right. Uh, Wiz, sorry. Uh, Smash is absolutely right. The pink ones only shoot out eggs, and the green ones only shoot out fireballs. Therefore, the correct answer is red. So Wiz stays at four, Smash to three, and unknown availability to seven. That was our last question. So let us go to our big board. All right, contestants, there's tens of thousands of dollars in cash and prizes and surprises up there on that board, and there are some whammies, so stay away with them. Remember, you can pass your spins anytime during your turn if you have the fear of the whammy, and four whammies will put tears in your eyes, send you off on Rainbow Road, knocking you out of the game. We don't want to see that. Player with a few spins goes first. Smash, that is you. You've got three spins. Are you ready to press your luck? I sure do. All right, here we go, yeah. Smash. Let's go. And I dare say the whammy better not take from one of their own. And stop. Stop yeah. at $1,900. All right, a good start. $1,900, two spins left, Smash. Press your luck or pass. Gonna go for right, more. You got it. Come on. Eight bucks, no whammies, and stop. Yeah. Stop at 1750 3650 Smash. You have one spin left. Do you want it? I do, and I'd want another spin. All right, let's this. go for it. And stop. Up at twenty-two fifty. All right, you're up to fifty-nine hundred dollars. First place for now. We'll see if it holds up. All right, next up on the totem pole is Wiz. You've got four spins. Are you ready to press your luck? Yep. Here we go. Come on, game. I see that Beat Saber pair. I see that Trinitron. I see that new 3DS XL. One of those three would be good. And stop. I'm at $1,900. You're on the board. 1,900, three spins left, Wiz. Press your luck or pass. Let's keep going. All right, we're going again. Come on. I like that Trinitron for some classic gaming. Come on, please. The Trinitron. And stop. I'm at 22, 22. All right. 41, 22, Wiz. Two spins left. Uh, you are 17, 78 behind Smash. Press or pass. Let's go again. You got it. Come on. I like a big, I like a big value prize. Big value prize, please. And stop. Four thousand dollars, Wiz. Nicely done. Eighty-one twenty-two puts you in the lead by twenty-two twenty-two. Do you want that last spin, or would you like to pass it to Smash? Smash a whammy's due. All right, Wiz thinks a whammy is due. Smash. Let's see if you can prove him wrong. Fifty-nine hundred dollars. One spin you must take. Okay, I better not be on the receiving end of a knockout blow. Stop. Stop at $2,000 and a spin. Smash, you're up to $7,900, and you picked up a spin. You are $222 behind Wiz for the lead. Press your luck or pass. Anything that's good on this board will put me in the lead. Gonna go for it? Yes, I'm gonna go for it. Roll that board. 
don't make me regret this decision and stop. Uh, but 2675, that puts you at five figure smash, $10,575, and you are in the lead. Now we go to unknown availability, who's got seven spins. Are you ready to press your luck? Let's press it. All right, let's roll. <laughs> Alright, I saw 10 emotes on there. That sounds like a really fun thing. Stop. Stop at a whammy. Of course. Seven spins and start with a whammy. Well, if you're going to hit a whammy, hit it with no dollars. That's only one whammy. Would you like to try it again? Yes. You got it. And quick stop. $2,600. Alright, you're in the chips. $2,600. Uh, third place. Would you like to keep going? Keep rolling. Here you go. Quick stop. $1,500, $4,100, four spins left, press your luck or pass. I'm not going to give the whammy time, keep going. Here you go. Quick stop. Up at $1,500 and a spin. $5,600, same four spins, 25, 22 behind Wiz for second place. Press or pass. Spin it again. Roll that board. And quick stop, go. 2750, and that puts you in second place now with 8350. Three spins left. You are 2225 behind Smash. Press or pass? Oh, we're pressing. Roll that board. <laughs> quick stop. 1750, that puts you at five figures with $10,100. Just 475 back of Smash. What's your pleasure? Roll that beautiful board. Footage. You got it. <laughs> quick stop. Stop at another whammy. Oh, oh me. just when you were about to take the lead, the whammy comes back and steals your money. Unknown availability, that is your second whammy. I do want to caution you about picking up a third whammy in round one. What do you want to do with that final spin? You know what? Let's do it. Let's go. Let's Roll keep, that let's board. Good luck. All right. We're going to we're gonna kind of keep this here. We're going to look. We're going to wait. We're going to kind of wait out the whammy, and then we're going to say stop. Stop at 2150. All right. You're in the chips, and the round is over. Unknown availability. You have 2150. Wiz 8122 and Smash. $10,575. First place and the advantage. You will be playing last in the final round. All right, contestants, it is time for round number two. I've got four more questions. Time for you to provide some answers and earn some more spins because there are some crazy things on that board that can really boost your score. So good luck and get ready for your first question. All right, first question. What does the T in the acronym STARS stand for in the Resident Evil series? Smash. I'm going out on a limb and saying tactical. All right, tactical. All right. Is the correct answer tactical, tricks, or tenacity? Wiz. I'm going to go with tactical. Tactical. All right. Uh, unknown availability. That sounds right. Tactical. It's actually tactics, but I decided to give it to you as a form of the word there, Smash. Everybody is correct. Wiz, you get a spin. Smash, you get three spins. Unknown availability, you get a spin. Good start, everybody. I was going to say, if I got caught on a technicality on that question, pun unintended, by the way. <laughs> All right. No problem. We got that one right. Let's see if you can get this one right. In the Mario Party games, a golden mushroom allows you to roll how many dice on the same turn? And that's unknown availability. Three. Three. Is the correct answer three, four, or five? Wiz. Three. Three? Smash. It's a three. Absolutely. It is three dice for them gold mushrooms. Wiz, you get a spin. Smash gets a spin, goes to four. Unknown availability goes to four. All right. Third question. Who manufactured the Wonder Swan and Wonder Swan color? Wiz. I'm going to go with uh, Capcom. Capcom is the correct answer. Capcom, Bandai, or Sega? And we'll go to Smash. I'm going to take a chance and say Bandai or ba Bandai or right. however you say it. Exactly. Um, unknown availability? Oh, man. Um, 
I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say Bandai. I'm ba gonna go with Bandai. Bandai. Well, Smash and unknown availability. You are correct. It is indeed Bandai. Sorry, Wiz. Smash. You get a spin. Go to five. Unknown availability goes to five. All right. Fourth and final question. Good luck. Which old NES light gun shooter video game was ref was featured in the 1989 movie Back to the Future 2? Unknown availability was first. Hogan's Alley. Hogan's Alley is the correct answer. Hogan's Alley, Wild Gunman, or Duck Hunt? Wiz. I'll go with Hogan's Alley. Hogan's Alley, a smash. The producers would want me to say Duck Hunt, but it's Hogan. Hogan? No, guys, I'm sorry. It is not Hogan's Alley. The game is Wild Gunman that is featured in uh, Back to the Future 2. So no spins for anyone on that question. So Wiz has two spins. Smash 5. Unknown availability 5. Let's go to the big board. All right, contestants, there's hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash and prizes, including double your money on the bottom right corner of the screen. So anything can still possible here in this game. Let's recap the scores. Unknown availability has 2150. Wiz has 8122. Smash has $10,575. You're playing last. So sit back and relax. Unknown availability. You're going first because you have the fewest dollars. 2150. Are you ready to press your luck? Yep, I don't see that third whammy on the line. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> All right, I want a double. I just want to go ahead and get a double out of the way. Stop. Stop and move one space. Do you want 2,000 and a spin or 55-55? Uh, give me 55 55 Alright, that money is yours. That takes you up to $7,655 or 7705 I beg your pardon. Four spins left. Press your luck or pass. We're pressing. Here we go. Alright, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, especially yeah. not that third whammy. Stop. Stop at a trip to SGDQ. Hey, there's a prize valued at $21,000. But ladies and gentlemen, look what we just put up on the board on the bottom right corner. It's a spicy board. $100,000 in cash. Anybody's game still. $28,705. You are in the lead right now by $18,130. Press your luck or pass. What would a game show be without a little bit of greed? I'm going to be the greedy one one more time. Pressure. Oh, he said the phrase, folks. I hope you don't regret it. All right. I heard juicy money and 100000 Stop. Stop and move one space to either 3000 in a spin or double your money in a spin. Double my money in a spin, Double please. your money. All right. You have just doubled your $28,705. We now put up a gravity suit, the Samus gravity suit. You're up to $57,410. You have three spins left still. You lead Smash by almost $47,000. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to check my watch for a second and realize that um, I'm not that greedy. Pass. All right. Three spins go to the player with the next highest amount. That is you, Smash. But you don't take them yet because you play last. Wiz, we go to you. You've got $8,122. You have two spins. You've got some work to do, but it can be done. Are you ready to press your luck? Yep. Let's go. Come on. Come on. I'd like the 100 grand of the gravity suit. 100 grand of gravity suit. That hot hammer will be good, too. And stop. Stop at $4,500. You're up to $12,622. Wiz, you have one spin left. You're in second place. Press your luck or pass. You know, I think a whammy's due. Pass. All right. Spin goes to the player with the highest amount. Unknown availability. Your 57,410 is at risk. One spin you got to take. Can you hold on to the money? I certainly can. You know what, Wiz? Stop. Stop, Stop at 4250. All right. You're now up to $61,660. All right, Smash, we go to you. You've got $10,575. Three spins you must take first. Well, that's one big thing I'd want off the board. At least we still have the hundred grand. Anyways, big bucks, no whammies. I need a spin and stop. 2500 and you picked up a spin smash. $13,075. Two to go. 
Okay, I'm kind of nervous now, and I'm gonna stop. Stop at 3,500 and a spin. 16,575, one more you gotta take, then we'll talk about the seven that you've now earned. Can we make an eight earn? Stop. Stop at a Master Chief HUD helmet. That's a nice prize. That prize is worth $60,000. And just like that, Smash, you are in the lead with $76,575. That was a nice prize. You are ahead of unknown availability by almost $15,000. Smash, press your luck or pass. Okay, let me try to rationalize things and point out that we have another trip to GDQ. Yep, this time we have AGDQ on the board. What are, you, what are the odds of that? All right, Smash, what's your pleasure? I, I also know that there's at least one thing that can definitely give them the win. I'm going to go again. Roll that board. <laughs> going to put that on the line. Let's go. I know a win probably do, but I don't want it to be me. Stop. Stop at $5,000 or lose a whammy. You do not have any whammy, so you get the money automatically. 81575 smash. Six spins left. That is a lead of $19,985. Press your luck or pass. Take it down to five, then I'll think about it. All right, here we go. Please don't take the helmet from me and stop. Stop at 3,000 and a spin. 84,575. Well, you still have the six spins left. 22,985 ahead of unknown. Smash, what are you going to do? In the past, I've tried this upcoming strategy and it backfired. I'm going to pass. You're going to pass. All right. I don't blame you. We'll see how it plays out. Six spins go to the next highest amount. Unknown availability. You're going to have to play Russian roulette. Six spins, six bullets that you've got to dodge. Good luck. Well, I got to say, I have 61, 60, or 660. There's all these sixes. I can't lose. Stop. Stop at a whammy, and it's the oh. only whammy on the board. And Smash saw it coming. Way to go. Owie. All right, now, since you hit a whammy, those five spins go into the earn column, but now you're in a predicament. You've got three whammies. One more whammy not only knocks you out of the game, but Smash will be the winner, and he'll move on to the Joker's Wild finale. So, with that in mind, unknown availability, press your luck or pass. I press. All right, here we go. You need, you need to keep it going. Yep, I do. I'm going to keep going. I have to. All right. Stop. Stop it. Go back two spaces to $10,000 and a spin. Hey, hey. Good start. All right. You're still in third place, though. Are you going to keep going? Oh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> and stop. Stop at a whammy and smash whammy is moving on. You are the winner with $84,575. Good game. Great job. The power of greed compelled me. Yeah, you had to go for it in third place there. It looked like you had a pretty good chance, but the game just absolutely said no way, Jose. I'm actually curious about that. Is that the first whammy out in Frame Show Night so far? Um, I, I don't know if it is the first whammy out in Frame Show Night history, but uh, I'm sorry to see that it happened to you tonight. But congratulations to Smash Whammy. You are the big winner tonight with $84,575. How are you feeling tonight? Great. I just wonder. Why I couldn't do this when there was real cast on the line in, in the recent Tournament of Champions on your stream. Well, I've only got three words for you. The game knows. You know it all too well here at Studio LZ, and it certainly applies here at, at the Speedrun Hall of Fame. Well, congratulations, Smash. You are moving on to the Joker's Wild finale with $84,575, and you're going to get to hear the dulcet tones of Tater as he tells you about the prize that you just won here on Press Your Luck. Well, congratulations, Smash Whammy. What a great comeback victory for that for, for that amazing win there. And here's what you've won. 
You've, you're going to take home Master Chief's HUD helmet. It's not that plastic crud from Microsoft. This is the HUD helmet worth $60,000. That combined with your winnings in tw of $24,575 in cash brings you to a grand total of $84,575. Congratulations. Spanish, $84,575. Again, you are moving on to our Joker's Wild finale at the end of the show. Wiz and Unknown Availability, thank you so very, very much for playing with us here on Frame Show Night. I hope both of you had a good time. You guys played very, very well. All right. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. It's great to have you here on Frame Show Night, and we hope to see you again on a future episode of Frame Show Night. All right, ladies and gentlemen, with that, that concludes our Press Your Luck segment of Frame Show Night here at the Speedrun Hall of Fame. But when we come back, we're going to have Wipeout featuring a JSR, T Bone, and Sawney Wrath. So don't go away. We will be right back.
Supreme Show Night, Wipeout, Air Date, January 30th, 2023, take one. Speedrun Hall of Fame Studios in Lost Wages, Nevada. It's television's most exciting day, Wipeout. And our contestants are here to fit their knowledge and strategy against the Wipeout. T-Bone, Sonny, and JSR. And one of these contestants could be driving away in a brand new Carson 500 GT. But they'll have to make sure they don't. Wipe out. And here's the host of Wipe Out, LOZ Cards Fan 23. Thank you. Thank you very much. I thank you very much, Tater. And welcome to Wipe Out here at Frame Show Night at the Speed Run Hall of Fame. That's right. You heard correctly tonight. We are giving away a very special prize. That Carson 500 GT could go to one of our lucky contestants tonight. Let's go ahead and uh, meet our contestants for this evening's Wipe Out contest. And we are starting that contest with... T-Bone, T-Bone 2886, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, everybody. Uh, my first time going at this game. I'm um, happy to be here, and hopefully I don't choke. All right. Well, T-Bone, thank you so very much for being here this evening on Frame Show Night. Your next contestant, Sonny Rath 11. Sonny Rath 11, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm an old school speedrunner from back in 2013, and... Uh, one of my friends actually ended up telling me about this, and I figured, eh, why not give it a shot? So I'm here giving it a shot. All right, great to have you all here, and uh, good luck to you as well, Sonny. And, of course, the one and only, the man, the myth, the legend, Rackham JSR here on Wipeout. JSR, I know a lot of people know, definitely know who you are, but for those of you who may not know who you are, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is James. I go by JSR. Uh, it's great to be here. Um, I'm a speedrunner and I also am on the speedrun hall of fame staff. So it's not rigged. I swear. I don't know any, I don't know any of this, but, uh, I will do my best and, uh, I'm looking forward to being on this tonight. Yep. And I swear on the link, uh, or I swear on the grave, the, pff, I can't even, I can't even do it. I, I'm trying to do the line and I can't even do it. I swear upon the grave of Erdrich that JSR has no knowledge to the material that we're about to ask him here on Wipeout. See, that's what you get when you're trying to reference another game show, JSR, but it's great to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so here's how this is going to work. I'm going to pose a question to all of you. There are going to be 16 answers. 11 of those answers are going to be correct. Five of them are going to be incorrect, the Wipeouts. If you hit a Wipeout, you lose all of the money that you've accumulated up to that point now when it's your turn you can continue to answer if you think you know right answers or you can pass but you can only pass upon a correct answer so hidden behind one of the answers is a hot spot and our hot spot prize today is the chrono trigger plasma gun worth three thousand two hundred dollars so a very nice prize could go to one of you contestants for those of you for those who pick up the hot spot and you also have to be one of the two contestants who make it into the challenge round to take that prize home so with that let's take a look at the board here for our opening round so here are the choices we've got community spotlight awfully silly retro reboot mercy kill game masters random number generation best of nes testing grounds Time Capsule, The First Step, The Grand Tour, Tina's RPG Show, I guess, Out of Bounds, Record Skip, Randall Wrangle, and After the Split. And our category for the opening round, GDQ Shows on Twitch. These are GDQ Shows that have been on Twitch past or present. So 11 of these are actual GDQ Shows that have been on Twitch past or present. Five of them are wipeouts. They do not fit the topic so we did a drawing before our game started t-bone you won the toss so you are going to go first take a look at the board here that is going to be coming up on twitch so make sure you're watching that and you tell me what you think is a correct answer a gdq show on twitch oh goodness you put me on a spot here dang it um uh Mercy Kill. Mercy Kill. All right. In the top right corner, is Mercy Kill a GDQ show on Twitch? Yes or no? It is indeed. All right. And that question, that correct answer, 
get you the first $250. All right. The next answer, if you continue on playing, is worth $500. If you think you know another answer on that board, you can keep playing or pass control to Sawney. Let's keep it going. All right. Give me another one that you think is a GDQ show on Twitch. Uh, Tina's RPG, RPG show, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of a funny title. Tina's RPG show, I guess guess is it a gdq show on twitch yes indeed yes indeed another 500 bucks that takes you up to 750 dollars t-bone and this next correct answer is worth 750 dollars we have nine right answers five wrong answers do you want to keep playing or pass it to sawney i think i got one more in me that i know for sure let's ride all right what do you think's another right answer on that board Time capsule. Time capsule. All right. On the left side, time capsule. Pastor President, is that a GDQ show on Twitch? It sure is. Way to go. That's another $750. T-Bone, you've got $1,500. The next right answer is worth $1,000 if you decide to keep on playing. Eight right, five wrong. Passing it. All right, passing it. All right, Sawney, you are in the game. We have eight right answers and five wrong answers on that board. What do you think is a GDQ show on Twitch? I think Community Spotlight is one of them. Community Spotlight on the top left corner. Community Spotlight, is that a GDQ show on Twitch? Yes, indeed. All right, you're on the board. You got $1,000 for that right answer. Sawney, this next correct answer is worth $1,250. We have seven right answers, five wipeouts. Player pass. I'm going to keep playing. All right. What do you think is another right answer? We are going to go for Game Masters. Game Masters, all right? On the middle left, Game Masters, all right? Is that a GDQ show on Twitch past or present? Yes, indeed. Very good. $1,250 more, taking you up to $2,250, Sawney. Next correct answer is worth $1,500. We have six right answers, five wrong answers. Player pass. Feeling pretty confident, so I'm going to keep playing. All right, keep playing. This is for $1,500, Sawney. What else do you think is a GDQ show on Twitch? I've got a feeling that Random Number Generation is one of the shows. Random Number Generation. All right. Random Number Generation. GDQ show on Twitch. Right or wrong? Right you are. All right. Another $1,500 for you. That's $3,750, Sawney. The next right answer is worth $1,750. We now have five right, five wrong. Player pass. I'm going to go for one more because right, I think I know one more. All right, one more for $1,750, Sawney. What do you think is a right answer? So I believe the first step is one of them the first step all right the first step down there all right 1750 dollars on the line is the first step a gdq gdq show on twitch yes indeed it is very good that's another 1750 you have 5500 dollars sonny a nice small fortune there next right answers were two thousand dollars we now have four right answers and five wrong answers player pass this is where I'm going to have to pass. All right, you're going to pass. JSR, welcome to the game, buddy. Hey, these <laughs> oh. two have made it tough on you. We're down to four right answers and five wipeouts still on the board. This is for $2,000. Would put you in second place. What is a GDQ show on Twitch? Man, I'm, I'm awfully nervous, but I'm also awfully silly, Laws. Awfully silly. I see what you did there. Awfully silly on the top. Awfully silly. Is that a GDQ show on Twitch? Yes. Very good, James. So you've got $2,000 on the board. This next one is worth $2,250. We have three right answers, still five wipeouts. Player pass. I'll play. All right, for $2,250, pick an answer on the board. The hot spot is still up there. Uh, let's go with out of bounds. Out of bounds. He was out of bounds, referee. Come on. That's no catch. Oh, wait, this is not the playoffs. <laughs> Out of bounds, right or wrong? Yes. All right, that's another 2250 there, James. 4250. There are now only two right answers and five wipeouts. This is for $2500. Hotspot is still on the board. Player pass. I think I know the, the last two. I'm going to do at least one more. All right. Let's, let's play. One more. All right. What do you think is the right answer? Um... Retro Reboot. 
Retro Reboot on the top. Retro Reboot on the top. All right. Is that a GDQ show on Twitch, and is it the hot spot? It is not the hot spot. Would you believe the last answer on the board oh. is the hot spot? But it is correct for $2,500. So... The last remaining right answer is worth $27.50. It would advance you to the challenge round, and it would also give you the hot spot prize worth $3,200. So, do you want to play or pass control to T-Bone? If I pass and it gets to... I'm going to play. I'm going to go for it. All right, Let's you're, you're going to go for it, all right? If you give me the correct answer, JSR, you will advance to the challenge round along with Tawny, and we'll have to say goodbye to T-Bone. What do you think is the remaining right answer? I'm fairly confident it's testing grounds. Testing grounds on the right. If testing grounds is correct, it will be the hot spot. You will advance to the challenge round, and this game will be over. Testing grounds, right or wrong? Hot spot, you win! Uh, that was hard. That was. Congratulations. Not a single wipeout was hit in that round. Congratulations. So JSR and Sonny, you both are moving on to the challenge round. And unfortunately, that means we have to say goodbye to T-Bone. But T-Bone, you played a very good game. And uh, I hope you had fun playing wipeout with us here on Frame Show Night. Oh, I did. Uh, I didn't choke, so that's a good thing. Yep, you didn't choke. It's just these two guys are good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, so coming up next is going to be the challenge round with JSR and Sonny, and we're going to have that challenge round coming up right after this. Stay tuned. All right, folks, we're going to get our challenge round set up right now, and the two contestants will be in place once that takes an effect. All right, welcome back to the challenge round here on Wipeout. Congratulations to both Sawney and JSR for making it to the challenge round. Sawney, $5,500, JSR, $9,500, and picked up that hot spot prize as well, worth $3,200. We're going to put that money into the vault where it's going to be safe. And there it is. And now it is time for the challenge round. Here's how this is going to work. I'm going to give you a category that's got 12 answers. Eight of them are correct. Four of them are incorrect, the wipeouts. You two are going to bid to determine how many answers you think you could come up with in a particular category, all right? So let's take a look at our first board. And by the way, whoever wins this game will win a prize, a holiday retreat at Tentacle Castle worth $15,200. So nice prize on the line for whoever wins this game. So let's go ahead and take a look at our first board. We've got MC Kids or Mick Kids, Castlevania, Kung Fu, Kid Icarus, Battletoads, City Connection, Batman the Video Game, Marble Madness, Mega Man 3, River City Ransom. DuckTales, and finally, Joe and Mac. And here is the topic for our first challenge round board. Games found in multiple Big 20s. All 12 of these games have been found in the Big 20, but only eight of them have been found in multiple Big 20s. How many can you name without wiping out? Now, JSR, you won the most money in the first round, so you get to start the bidding. Of these 12, of the eight right answers, how many do you think you can name? I think I can name five of them. Five. Now, Sonny, you can increase the bid. You can do six, seven, or you can go for eight, or you can challenge JSR if you don't think he can come up with five. So, Sonny, what I say I you? I able to come up with six. Going to go for six. All right, going to increase the bid to six. Very good. JSR, ball's in your court. Do you want to go for seven or challenge Shawnee? I will challenge. You're going to challenge Sonny. All right. Sonny, you need to come up with six right answers to win the board. If you hit a wipeout, all JSR has to do to win the board is come up with one correct answer. So, Sonny, 
Pick an answer that you think is a game that has been found in multiple big 20s. Castlevania. Castlevania on the top. Castlevania, has that been found in multiple big 20s? Yes, sir. That is one. Five more to go. Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus on the top right. Is that a game that's been found in multiple big 20s? Yes, that's two. Four more to go. DuckTales. DuckTales on the bottom. DuckTales, right or wrong? Yes, sir. You're halfway home. Three more to win the board. Mega Man 3. Mega Man 3 on the bottom left. Is that a game that has been found in multiple big 20s? No, it has only been in one big 20. I am sorry. That is a wipeout. JSR, you have a chance to steal the board with just one right answer. I'll go with Batman the video game. Batman the video game. If that has been found in multiple big 20s, you will win the board. And yep, Rayo is absolutely correct. That has only been in big 20 number 12. No others. Batman the video game, right or wrong? You got it. Congratulations, JSR. You have won the first board here, and you win the next one. You will move on to the bonus round. But let's take a look at the remaining correct answers here. The other games that have been found in multiple big 20s. We have Kung Fu, Battletoads, Marble Madness, and finally, Joe and Mac. Those were the other games that have been found in multiple big 20s. So... JSR, you won I the knew, first one. I knew five of those because there were there were the five that I played in two big twenties, but the other three I was kind of iffy on. The other three would have been educated guesses, uh, pure guesses, some something in between like that. Yeah. All right. Well, congratulations, JSR. You've got your first board. I mean, Sony, you have to win this board in order to stay alive in this match. Let's take a look at our second challenge board. All right. Probo Pass, Ludicolo, Tangrowth, Weavile, Gallade, Chandelier, Ambipom, Delcaddy, Bellabolt, Crabominable, Florgis, and Simisir. As you can plainly see, they are all Pokemon, but what does this category involving Pokemon have to do with? Evolved Pokemon who require stones. You know, that's your Moonstones, your Thunderstones, your Grass Stones, etc., etc., etc. Eight of these Pokemon who are fully evolved require a stone in order to evolve. Four of them do not. Avoid the wipeouts. Now, JSR, you started the bidding in the first round. So, Sonny, you start the bidding here in the second round. How many do you think you can name? I'm going to go four. Four. JSR, would you like to increase the bid or challenge Sonny? That is all yours. I don't know. <laughs> I'm challenging. All right. You're going to challenge. All right. Sonny, if you can come up with four right answers, you will tie up this match. But if you had a wipeout, James has to get just one right answer, and he'll win the board and the game. All right, Sonny, what do you think is the right answer? Tangrowth. 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 Does Tangrowth require a stone to evolve? No, it does not require a stone to get to that Pokemon. I'm sorry. That is a wipeout and a huge break for James who says he knows absolutely nothing about Pokemon. All you have to do is come up with one right answer. You win the round and the game. Uh, and I have no clue. What is my chance? Eight out of 11? Uh, yes. Yes. Ludicolo. Lu I have no. I'm going with Ludicolo. <laughs> All right. If Ludicolo is a Pokemon that requires a stone to evolve, you win. I'll, I'll tell you what. I've played a lot of Pokemon games. Even I don't know this answer. Is Ludicolo a Pokemon that requires a stone? Yes, it is. GG. Congratulations. And just like that, JSR, you are moving on to the challenge round. Congratul or rather the bonus round. You have won the challenge round and you have won that trip to Tentagel Castle. Congratulations. Let's take a look at the other correct answers. Here are the other Pokemon that require stones to evolve to it. We've got Gallade, Chandelure, Delcaddy, Bellabolt, Cremominable, Florgis, and Simisir. All of them require stones to evolve them. So, JSR, congratulations. You are moving on to the bonus round. Well, Sonny, we have to say goodbye to you, but you picked up $5,500, and I hope you had fun playing Wipeout with us here on Frame Show Night. 
Oh, absolutely. Thank you so much for having me on. All right. And JSR, you are today's winner. And let's add your hotspot prize and the cash that you've won to your challenge round prize. And so far, you picked up $27,900 in cash and prizes. But when we come back, you're going to have a chance to win that brand new Carson 500 GT. And we're going to have that bonus round coming up right after this. Stick around. All right, we are back with JSR, our champion here on Wipeout. You are advancing, by the way, to our Joker's Wild finale. And that is going to be coming up very, very shortly. So, James, congratulations for making it to the Wipeout bonus round. You have so far picked up $27,900 in cash and prizes. But now you have a chance to add a Carson 500 GT valued at $139,995. That is one heck of an automobile, James. Oh, baby. Let's go. All righty. So here's how the bonus round works. I'm going to show you a category with 12 answers. Six of them are going to be correct. Six of them are going to be wipeouts. Let's take a look at an example for you. Pendant, golden knife, battle axe, diamond, holy water, dagger, sacred flame, silver knife, power bracelet, chaos emerald, lance, and bronze knife. So here's how this is going to work. The category, by the way, is sub-weapons in Castlevania 2. So I'm going to pick some answers here. And to do that... I pick six answers. I can't pick seven. So I'm going to hit the button and see what I got right. I got four right. Well, that is not six, James, so I'm going to want to make some changes. So I will go back to the board, and I'll change whatever I don't think is a correct answer. So, you know, power bracelet I don't think is right. Let's change that to the dagger. I don't think there's a bronze knife that goes with the silver and gold knife. I'm going to get rid of that. We're going to change it to the sacred flame. I'm going to lock that in, and let's see what I get. Hey, I got all six of them right. That's because I ran Castlevania 2. I should know this. So uh, you will do that until you get all six correct. Um, this uh, this has obviously been an easy board for you. So, James, we're going to give you your own board to work with. So let's take a look at what your board is going to be. Beastmakers, soldiers, ice wizards, painters, magic crafters, dreamweavers, artisans, tamers, skylanders, Dryads, Peacekeepers, and Nasty's World. Boy, I think I'd be screwed with this one. Let's take a look at what the topic is. Spyro the Dragon 1 Homelands. Six of these are Spyro the Dragon 1 Homelands. Now, you're going to have ten guesses to come up with the six right answers. So, um, good luck to you. Well, James, start picking, my friend. Let's go Skylanders. Okay. Dryads, Nasty's World, Magic Crafters, Hamers, and Beastmakers. Happy with those choices? Let's ring it in. All right, let's see what you have on that. You have three right. So three of them are right, okay. three of them are wrong. You have nine chances left. You have ten chances in order to win that car, so you're going to have to make some changes. Let's change Dryads to Peacekeepers. Do you want to make any other changes? No, let's bring it in. Four right. That was a good change there, JSR. You're on your way. You have eight chances left. Let's change Magic Crafters to Dreamweavers. And ring it in. Still four right. That means you either changed the right answer to another right answer, or you changed the wrong answer to a wrong answer. Let's change Dreamweavers to Artisans. All right. You happy with that? Yeah. Still four right. Interesting. 
Let's change artisans to painters. Painters. All right, you happy ring with that? In. Yeah, ring it in. Three. Interesting again. Let's change painters back to artisans. Okay. Let's change Skylanders to Dreamweavers. Happy with that? Let's ring it in. Five right. One of them is wrong, and you have four guesses left to find it. Let's change Beastmakers to Soldiers. Beastmakers to Soldiers. Let's see if that's the winning change. Down to four. All right, so change Soldiers back to Beastmakers. Okay. Uh, I have three guesses remaining. Correct. Um, let's change Peacekeepers. No, I'm sorry. Let's change Nasty's World to Magic Crafters. All right, to, to Magic Crafters. All right, let's lock that in. The five. Let's change Peacekeepers to Nasty's World. Bring it in. All right. Changing Peacekeepers to Nasty's World. We have one guess left after this if this is not it. Let's see if that's the right change. Still five. This is your last guess, JSR. Change Nasty's World to Painters. Ring it in. All right. This is it. Let's find out if you've won the car. If not, the game is over. Down to four. I am sorry, James. You didn't win the car. I couldn't remember which one. I had a strategy, and it was working, and then I confused myself. All right, let's find out what you should have done here. So Tamer should have went back to Nasty World. You had Nasty's World, right? And Painters should have went to Peacekeeper. So Tamer's was the one that threw you off there, James. Yeah, I got a little confused. It was. I think the strategy was working. I just... The, the nerves got me a little. I wanted that car. Well, that was an expensive car for a reason. The producers here at Frame Show Night uh, weren't going to make it easy this time around. But, hey, you still won $27,900 in cash and prizes here, James. And, of course, you are going to be moving on to the Joker's Wild Finale. So stick around because you're going to be coming up next here. So congratulations on your win. But... We're going to take a break here, and when we come back, we're going to have the Joker's Wild between our three winners from earlier, Smash Whammy, Captain Caveman, and JSR. And we're going to have that for you right after this, so do not go away.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our finale of this month's Frame Show Night here at the Speedrun Hall of Fame. I am here with our three winners, Smash Whammy, Captain Caveman, and JSR. Congratulations on winning your respective games. Each of you will be picking up two gift subs, but one of you will have a chance to increase that to five gift subs. And how this is going to work? Well, for those of you who are speedrunners, you know that in order to get to earn, not only do you have to execute like all three of you did, but you also have to have orange RNG go your way and this is the RNG segment of our game right now it is the Joker's Wild here's how this is going to work all three of you are going to pull the lever on the Joker's Wild machine we, we do the audience game from the Joker's Wild from the 70s and 80s whoever gets the highest score wins this month's event gets the five gift subs and we'll have a chance to double it to 10 gift subs now how are we going to determine the order? We're going to determine it by who won the most money on today's program. Spanish Whammy, you won the most money with $84,575. So, do you want to go first, second, or third? I'll go third. You want to go last. All right, fair enough. Captain Caveman, you were next with $40,000 on Jeopardy, which is the highest score to date. You want to go first, second, or third? I will go second. All right, you're going to go second. So James is going to go first, is going to establish the mark to beat. All right, so here's how this is going to work. On the wheels are dollar amounts ranging from $100 to $1,000. The maximum score you can get is $3,000. Whoever has the most money wins the event, gets the five gift subs, and has a chance to double it to 10 gift subs. So... Good luck to all three of you here. Let's uh, cue the music. All right, JSR, our wipeout champion. You're going to go first. Uh, whenever you're feeling lucky, let me know when to spin it. Spin it. 300. 100, 1,000, not bad, $1,400. That may be enough to win. You never know, James. All righty, our next contestant is going to be Captain Caveman. Are you ready to take your spin? Yes, sir, let's do it. Here we go. 100, 100, 300. No, nope, that is not going to do it. You have $500. So, James, your score is still the amount to beat, $1,400. Smash, you have to beat $1,400 to be this month's winner here on Frame Show Night. Are you ready to take your spin? Not yet. Let me wait a second. Try to... I know, I know. I'll I'll say it for you. Trying to manipulate the RNG. I told you. I got you, buddy. Okay. Now. 300, 100, 500. No, James, you win. Good game. Good game, you guys. Congratulations, JSR. That means you are the winner of this month's Frame Show Night, and you pick up the five gift subs. So congratulations there, James. Now you have a chance to face off against the devil for a shot at doubling it to 10 gift subs. So uh, let's go ahead and cue the music one more time. All right, so here's how the second part of the bonus round works, James. So now on the board are dollar amounts ranging from $250 all the way up to $2,000. However, behind one of the reels is the devil. If the devil shows up, you win any bonuses that you might pick up along the way. But the five gift subs that you've won so far, James, are safe. Now, if you do win the $10,000, if you get $10,000 or more, you win the bonus round, you get the 10 gift subs, and you will win some scuba equipment worth $2,170, because why the heck not? So, JSR, are you ready to take your first spin? Absolutely, and, and the devil's not going to mess with me because I'm so underwater in my bills, I need that scuba suit, so let's go. All right, and by the way, one other thing I want to mention, JSR, that if at any time three of the same dollar amount show up, that is a natural triple, you will win automatically. So let's see what your first spin is. 
All right, 750, 250, 250. You have 1250, James. Let's go. All right, James is going to go for it. All right, here's your second spin. 500, 750, 500, $3,000. By the way, I'll tell you right now, if you quit, I'll give you six gift subs in total. What do you think, James? That's tempting. That is tempting, but I, the devil wouldn't mess with me this early, and I think it's early. Let's roll. All right, James is going to put it on the line. Let's go again. 750, 1500, 750. All right, you're up to $6,000, James. 4,000 more to win the game. I will give you seven gift subs, James. <laughs> that is tempting. I'm going to say the thing. Without even saying the thing, I'm going to imply to say the thing, Lance. You know what to do. All right. James is going to. Press on and try to get that $4,000. All right, here we go, James. We have 250. Ah, oh, the devil oh. got you. I was in the middle rail. Ah, oh, that's too bad, James. It was a lot of fun. And, you know, I had to I had to go for it. But no, thank you so much for having me. It was a lot of fun tonight. Absolutely. And hey, we're going to see you in next month's um quarterly matchup because our previous winners are going to be waiting for you when that time comes. Cananaphone and Supersonic. Wow, Cananaphone, Supersonic, and JSR in that quarterly matchup? Holy smokes, that is going to be a slobber knocker, as my friend Bryce Hoff would say. Well, JSR again, congratulations on being this month's winner of Frame Show Night here at the Speedrun Hall of Fame. And great job to all three of our contestants who won. And great job to all nine contestants who participated. They were absolutely tremendous. Give them a round of applause. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that, that is going to draw our stream to a close here on the Speedrun Hall of Fame. But we'll be back next month with more contestants more game shows, and a lot more fun right here on Frame Show Night at the Speedrun Hall of Fame. For everybody here, for my announcer, Taters, for Maya Culpa who assisted, and for all of our contestants, I'm LZ Cardsman23. Have a great rest of your evening, and we will see you again next month here at the Speedrun Hall of Fame for another exciting round of Frame Show Night. Good night, everybody.